What you doing? I'm getting my hair ready so that I can be recorded. You're being recorded. Well, I'm, I'm, so I can edit that out. So I um I broke up with my boyfriend last night or rather the night before I just kind of solidified it yesterday um you know it's sad it's very sad yeah it's really awesome you know I mean in all many areas he's a hard worker he um you know I, I mean he's good with my kids gosh he's been around he's been around since my son was seven months old you know the youngest um it's it's just sad because um I mean there's nothing wrong with him really I just I don't feel like I had the appropriate feelings for him that I should have I don't feel like uh, I was ever going to um, have the the deep relationship with him that I would like to have, you know, uh, with like, my future husband, and if I ever get married. Like I said before, you you guys have heard me say it. I fully accept that I may die alone, but. Like, I've prayed to God that, you know, God will send me the right man and he'll slap me upside the head because I'm thick-headed and I'll know, you know, and I'll know that that's who I'm supposed to be with and that this is the path that I've, you know, been led down. So, I, and I just didn't feel that that was it with, you know, this guy. So, I mean, it sucks though because really, he's really amazing, you know, he's terribly good looking. He's got the sweetest, juiciest booty. <laughs> um, uh, you know, he has initiative and, you know, he is the way he is. And the things that I can't stand about him are the things that make up who he is. You know, I mean, the little things. And I just really feel like I'm going to be able to be better to him and be a, a better person in his life if I'm more his friend. weighed in this morning at uh, 143.4 or something like that, which is the lowest that I have ever been. Um, my weight fluctuates though, uh, so I'm not getting too stoked until it stays there for a while. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way things are going and I'm eating really well, so I'm happy about that. Overall, I would say that I feel pretty healthy right now. Pretty darn healthy. I'm still not happy with the way I look naked. And don't act like y'all don't do that. I sat in front of the mirror yesterday for, I don't know, like 10 minutes after my shower, sucking it in, pulling my fat to one side. I'm like, ooh, if I could pull my fat over here like this, ooh, I look skinny from that angle. And then I was like, ooh, ooh, if I can get down to where I look like that without having to pull my fat around, mm mm mm, I tell you what, it's gonna be awesome. Long and boring No one can lift the damn thing It's full of charts and facts and figures And instructions for dancing But I
I just feel down today because I feel like even though the breakup was my idea, you know, and I know that I was staying true to myself and doing what's right, <clears throat> I just feel bad because, like, I don't want anyone, I don't want to ever cause anyone pain. And, and it sucks to know that because of a decision that I've made that someone else out there is hurting. And I mean, and, and in all honesty, they don't deserve to be hurting or anything, but I can't. So it's another race day, it's about 6 something a.m. and I'm pretty stoked to run again today and um, hopefully I'll, I'll go a little faster than last time. Uh, last race was 34.11 so anything under that and I'm happy. I finished the race in 33.40, which is faster than my last time of 34.11, so I'm improving, and I'll take it, and I did really good, and I saw these two little kids off in the distance, and I was like, I'm going to beat them little kids, they're probably, I mean, they may be half my size, and they may be able to run for a longer time, but I bet you they're full of hamburgers and stuff, and I'm not, because I'm better than them, and I beat them, so I'm amazing. The end. Oh. Let's show you. And I'll probably have some fruit with it. <laughs> 